Before removing the spray chamber, you must first remove the nebulizer. See the videos on removing nebulizers. Remove the clamp between the spray chamber and the connector tube. Loosen the makeup gas connector to disconnect the makeup gas tubing from the end cap. Loosen the dilution gas connector to disconnect the dilution gas tubing from the dilution nozzle. Check the gas tube for damage and replace it if necessary. Loosen both screws on the top cover of the chiller and then remove the cover. Lift the spray chamber out of the chiller and then disconnect the drain tube to remove the spray chamber. Slide the end cap retainer to the unlock position. Remove the end cap from the spray chamber and then remove the end cap retainer from the end cap. After removing the spray chamber, check for damage. Replace the spray chamber if it is damaged. Thoroughly clean the spray chamber and end cap with pure water and soak in a 5% nitric acid solution. Usually from 20 minutes to a couple of hours is sufficient, although it is not harmful to leave overnight if needed. Tilt the spray chamber left and right to remove any bubbles that may be trapped inside. Rinse with pure water. Put the end cap retainer on the end cap and then fully insert the spray chamber into the end cap. Slide the end cap retainer to the lock position to secure the end cap. Securely connect the drain fitting on the spray chamber to the drain connector to avoid drain leakage. Insert the spray chamber inside the chiller. Securely place the top cover on the chiller and tighten both screws. Make sure the makeup gas connector on the end cap is perpendicular. Connect the dilution gas tubing. Connect the makeup gas tubing. Install the clamp between the spray chamber and the connector tube. Follow the steps in the appropriate video to install the nebulizer.